Assalamu alaikum everyone. How are you all? I hope all you are fit and fine. Okay, so the main topic of this video is joint. So we shall discuss all the types of joint and uh, best examples of joint. So let's start. Okay, so first of all, we'll discuss the joint. What is joint? You can define the joint as the connection between two bones in the skeletal system. When two or more bones join together, so it will definitely form a connection. It will definitely form a point where bones are connected. So this point is called as joint. As we can see in this x-ray, okay, this is uh, one bone, another bone, and they are going to join with, uh, with another bone. Okay, actually it is a knee x-ray. This is the knee cap and it, uh, okay, so... And this is actually two bones are joined together. So when two or more bones are joined together, so it will form a joint. You can see the major joints, different types of joints in the body, like the joints between the vertebral, uh, respective vertebrae, okay? Two vertebrae joined together to form the continuous vertebral column or backbone. Okay, the joint in the pectoral girdle as compared to the joint in the pelvic girdle, okay, and the neck joint, ribs are joined with the sternum, ribs are joined with vertebral column, this humerus is joined with the pectoral girdle, okay, so all these joints are joined to the place where two or more bones join together, connected together or articulate together. If we see the classification of joints, so we can classify the joint according to the type of tissue, and according to the degree of movement, each joint permit. So if we see the uh, classification on the basis of the type of tissue, so first type is the fibrous joint, cartilaginous joint, and synovial joint. Fibrous joint in which the bones are connected by the fibrous tissues. Okay, and bones joined in such a way that uh, the bones uh, will not move you can say they will form a immovable joint or fibrous joint. And this type is immovable joint. So we also call it synarthrosis. Synarthrosis, the immovable joint and immovable joints are also the fibrous type, fibrous joint, where bones are joined by the fibrous tissue. Second is the cartilaginous joint where bones are connected by the cartilage pad or cartilage uh, between two bones, there is a, a layer of cartilage. And this type of joint is amphiarthrosis as it permits slightly movement, as it is slightly movable joint. Less degree of movement is allowed over here. So this is the amphiarthrosis according to the degree of movement. Third type is the synovial joint where a synovial fluid is filled between the empty space of the two bones articulating surfaces enclosed within the fluid filled joint capsule like knee joint is, is, is an example and it permits freely movement so it is diarthrosis okay so synarthrosis amphiarthrosis and diarthrosis are the classification according to the degree of movement and fibrous joint cartilaginous joint and synovial joints are the types of joint according to the according to the tissue connection according to the tissue uh, type of tissue Okay, and fibrous joints are always immovable joint, cartilaginous joints are slightly movable joint, and synovial joints are freely movable joint. You can say this. So first of all, in this video, we will discuss the fibrous joint in detail and also uh, see the common examples. A fibrous joint is where the bones are bound by a tough fibrous tissues. These are typically joints that require strength and stability over range of movement. Because they do not move, such types of bones do not move. So the, a fibrous connection is developed between these bones. And uh, we can see the examples like sutures, gomphosis in our body and syndesmosis. Okay, now let's talk about the sutures. Sutures are the uh, bones, sutures are the connection between the bones in your skull, like parietal bone, occipital bone, uh, frontal bones are connected okay so these lines are called as sutures like this coronal suture 
the suture is developed and fibrous tissues are developed between these two bones so the bones are tightly packed the bones are tightly joined they will not move like this squamous suture like this lamboid suture so uh, different uh, pieces of bones or different bones connected together in such a way that uh, it will form they will form a complete one bone okay as we know that in infant hood during the infant hood the human being contain 300 bones and during the adolescence period when the human being become adult so he or she will contain 206 bone so the number of bones will be reduced the number of bones will be ossified you can see the process of ossification uh, here the ossification has completed two bones are connected together this is one bone this is second bone this is third bone like like this this is four bone all bones are connected in such in such a way that they will not move anymore so this is the sin uh, this is the you can say sin arthrosis joint or immovable joint or you can say uh, fibrous joint because the fibrous tissues are developed now the second example over here is the this is this is the suture joint and this is the gomphosis joint gomphosis joint is the teeth when the teeth are fixed in the uh, in the mandibles or okay in the uh, sockets or in the gum so gums are also a bone so here is the connection between two bones gomphosis and it is also immovable joint or uh, fibrous joint third example is the syndesmosis this is the syndesmosis it is present between the radius and ulna in your arm bone and in your leg bone between tibia and fibula okay so this is the syndesmosis this interosseous membrane it combines two bones together that these two bones will not move apart or will not uh, uh, it will not allow the uh, uh, movement between these two bones so it is also a fibrous joint okay so as a summary we can see the syn arthrosis or fibrous joint in our body in sutures in our skull and in hand bone and in leg bone and radius and ulna and tibia and fibula and in the gomphosis okay so it is the first part of the joint in which we have discussed about the uh, syn arthrosis joint or immovable joint inshallah in the next part we shall discuss about the uh, slightly movable joint or cartilaginous joint okay so it's still connected thank you so much for watching this video uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel thank you so much Allah Hafiz